Ecotourism is benefiting thousands, but the impacts of uncontrolled tourism with little management has had some negative impacts. Stanzin is a local filmmaker and an environmental activist. He's driving me to a garbage dump just outside Leh. This is what I wanted to show you, sir. Not so far from Leh city, it's only one and a half kilometer far from there. Well, all I can say is I'm shocked. I can't believe that such a huge garbage dump exists here. And I'm also feeling guilty because I think I'm part of this garbage. I use plastic bottles and I am pained. Even we can't believe how the tourism can affect such a place like this. More than two lakh tourists visit Ladakh every year. And it is estimated that an average of 30,000 plastic bottles get dumped here during the summer months. Unlike garbage dumping areas in the plains, here there are no boundaries to the dumping ground. The garbage flies in whichever direction the wind takes them. There's an urgent need for garbage management and for strict rules that need to be enforced. And this is not only the garbage dump, and this is the ground breeding for the these feral dogs, you know. You will, now we are in around like 930 somewhere here, otherwise it's like, you know, hundreds and thousands of dogs here. And Rapid here, urbanization and uncontrolled dumping of garbage has resulted in the emergence of feral dogs. These are packs of dogs who hunt and scavenge near these dumps and in the cities. There are more than 5,000 dogs in Leh alone. This is alarming. And the shocking news was the death of a young girl by a pack of dogs. I've been following the feral dog issue all over India. I think over 30 million dogs are roaming around, forming packs and going back to the wilds. And this is a serious concern. And uh, I can see it manifesting itself here. Over the years, the incidents of feral dogs with predatory behavior attacking wildlife have increased in Ladakh and across the country. In a rare and shocking case, a pack of dogs was documented chasing and ambushing a Himalayan brown bear. Incidents of them attacking snow leopards have also been documented. Feral dogs pose a huge threat to wildlife populations, and the issue is getting further complicated. Dogs and bulls in the area are interbreeding, often enough for locals to have named this creature, calling it Kipshang. The consequences of this cannot be understood easily and may need years of research and study, but the changes are happening so quickly that the scientific community may not be able to understand the present scenario before it gets out of hand. I'm going to meet His Eminence Thukse Rinpoche at the Hemis Monastery to understand the connection with nature that people have here and its relevance in Buddhist philosophy. He might also have a different perspective on where we might have gone wrong in maintaining the balance between development and protecting Ladakh's natural heritage. What we need at the moment in this planet is that the love and compassion. It is the essence of Buddha's teaching. The planet is going through a troubled time. And I think for thousands of years, okay. Buddhism way of life and values kept and gave us a harmonious planet. But somewhere along the line, the earth began to suffer. What happened? Where did we go wrong? Uh, this all suffering and challenging and all these things, basically it's nothing that it's natural. It's all uh, human-made challenges, human-made disasters. I feel it's not, it's nothing something which is happening just by, just by no reasons, naturally. People love to call it natural. Natural disaster, natural, natural. But I, I, in my understanding is that I don't think anything is natural. I feel everything is like human-made.
We human are making the world suffering. We human are making the snow leopard suffer. So now this world now needs uh, love, compassion with action. So do you see hope for this very troubled, fragmented world? Yes, I, I have a lot and lots of hope. On my own level, I'm trying to at least to take care of my own nest, the small nest called Ladakh. I'm sure this area with your thought and energy will see a lot of change and of yeah. course hope. Hope, yes, yes, we all hope. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the people of Ladakh share an ancient connection with these mountains and nature that is right at their doorstep. The single-minded dedication toward kindness and compassion and a leader that looks towards the future gives me hope that much can still be done to protect the snow leopard and its habitat. Always aware of maintaining this delicate balance, this philosophy runs so deep that there is a word for it. Jungwa. But today, we live on a broken planet. <laughs>